I'm Rob. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the history of El Salvador. El Salvador officially uh, broke away from Spain in the 1820s, similar to how uh, the, thir the 13 original colonies broke away from England. And then after that, they formed a federation of countries with other Spanish countries, but then that federation kind of dissolved. And that's why you see all of the independent countries that there are, like Mexico and Guatemala and El Salvador. El Salvador has had a really rough history with a lot of revolutions and civil wars going on within its history. Um, the most relevant one was one that took place in the 1970s that the U.S. intervened with. It didn't turn out that well. Uh, the country is still struggling with a bunch of economic disparities and still there's a lot of violence and it's gone down but there's still a lot of violence there, and it's really sad. Hi, my name's Emily. I'm a junior at Agape Christian Academy, and this will be my first year going to El Salvador with our school. Um, this will be the school's fourth trip down with students. The whole reason we go to El Salvador, when my parents started our high school, uh, they really desired for the students to have an opportunity to go on some kind of missions trip to just see a practical experience that they can't really teach in the classroom. So they were looking for an organization to partner with so that we could have a close relationship with and be able to expand it to not just the high school but to the rest of the school too. Long story short, we talked to a family friend and he hooked us up with an organization called Love and Hope Children and my parents went down there with him for a week long trip and they loved it and ever since then we've been sending our juniors and seniors down. We also get to have pen pals with the students down there or with the children down there and it's just been really fun and a blessing for the whole school and not just us. Hey, I'm Michael and uh, I'm in 11th grade and this is going to be my first year going to El Salvador. I'm really excited. I've heard so much about what goes on every year. Uh, and all we do is when we get down there, we stay at the Love and Hope Children's Home, which is basically just a home for like orphaned or abandoned kids and stuff like that. We'll play with the kids at the home. Uh, we'll help them with homework sometimes. We'll do crafts. Uh, we do a vacation Bible school down there every year. When we're not at the home, we usually go out into the community and we'll do a vacation Bible school with the kids in the other communities. Uh, sometimes we do a community cleanup. It's a great opportunity to just bond with everyone else on the missions team and uh, to talk to the other kids down there and see another culture. And I can't wait to go. Hello, my name's Isaiah. Um, I went on the trip to El Salvador last year with three other students. Last year was very impactful for me. I got to do a lot of things I've never done. As it was my very first trip outside of the country and doing a mission trip like this. It impacted several places of my life. When we were down there, just being around the kids and seeing how much they just like surrounded us and were so happy with us being there and just like unconditionally loving us. It's changed a lot of my opinions on like family and stuff like that and seeing like how a family should work. There's just so many experiences I could talk about that truly changed my life. Uh, one being like just seeing these kids at the birthday parties that we uh, got to be down there for. Even though they got what we might consider sometimes minor presents, they were so excited to have them and all the kids were so excited for these kids and it was just amazing seeing how these kids reacted to each other and just so glad for each other. It's it's really just something I've been looking forward to, to getting to see these kids again and getting to see how they've grown since the last time I've seen them.